You know when people start videos with, what's up guys? Boy, I think that makes you sound like a toolbox. So, what's up guys? Yep, or this is your boy. Anyhow, uh, my name is David, Dave, and this is the Best Rules by Bikes channel, also the pin it racing thing. Now, this is the only video that's gonna be done on my 2023 300XC, the new TBI bike. You wanna know how much power it makes or doesn't make? Let's run it and let's compare it to the 22 300 TPI bike, completely stock, and then let's throw in the mix. Uh, what we call the new power bundle kit with the injector relocation block, which basically makes it like this bike, uh, you know, right? Taking the injectors out of the cylinder and getting them into the throttle body area and with the ECU reflash and just see how that compares to it because that's a kit for $535 and you can get these other bikes, these TPI bikes, you know, relatively cheap right now. They should be planning to close them out with rebates. So, you can piece together which way is right for you. So here it is. The yellow line, that's the new 300. <clears throat> that makes a lot of power, hard, quick, and fast, and then it totally takes a dump on the top. Now considering the fact this other one is completely stock, not one thing has been turned or done, just fuel put into it. You can see how it pulls a lot further on stock, and this is the 22 TPI bike. Now we have lackluster here, but that can be fixed. So if you ride these things, you notice, you know, they have an extremely light flywheel. They hit hard, fast compressions, way too high on the thing. Ignition timing is way too high on the thing. That's why they peter off on the top. They're trying to keep them from blowing up, but the pistons hit the crankcases, they blow up anyhow. That's why you can't get any parts for them. So that's not a good thing. Now let's just throw in the mix what $535 would Get you, uh, that's that, 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 receiver. And there you go. So mega butt kicking there. Look at the amount. This just destroys everything. And this is the relocation block and the ECU reflash and the reads on the uh, TPI bike, the, the red line. So that's destroyed the new bike and you've got a huge extra top end in comparison to it. And if you want to even do that better, you could go that, that, and see the difference. So you might want to get a TPI bike at a great price and then just spend the extra, extra money and just destroy the new bike. So that's all I got. Well, now you know. So here's the catch. This is the last video on this bike that's gonna be on the Best Tool Sport Bikes channel. You wanna to go to the Pin It Racing channel, sign up there to be a subscriber because everything about building this thing and me possibly taking it to the bottom of the salt class to see how fast I can go on it are gonna be on that channel. Uh, do they need help? Yeah, are they, do they have issues? Big time, they explode, the pistons may hit the, the cylinder, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the pistons may hit the crankshaft you know, at 9,000 RPMs, just scatter this thing all about. You've seen the pictures of, you know, the top ends of these things just blown apart, cylinder heads blown off, so forth. There's reasons that that happens, but we can fix a lot of that stuff. Um, so we have those issues. They're, they're built wrong, kind of. This one's built wrong. The squish band is way too tight. The compression is way too high. It was not put together, right? So let's go through that aspect of it. All these different codes and everything, let's get rid of that, we'll fix that. We'll do reprogramming, injectors are probably better in a different place. There's a lot of issues going on with this thing. Anyhow, go to the pinnet if you're interested in learning how to fix them so you don't have a piece of junk for a bike. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe there and I'll see you soon.